Okay, so now in this video, we will be creating our environment checker script in order to check for the obstacles in our environment in order to perform parkour. So for that, on the scripts folder right here, click on it and then inside the scripts, create another folder by the name of parkour. And then inside the parkour, we will create a new c -sharp script by the name of environment checker make sure that you spell that correctly after creating it click on player and what we will do we will simply drag and drop the environment checker right there now let's open this up Now, after this, let's create a method by the name of check obstacle. Inside this check obstacle, now we will be creating a raycast. But first of all, let's create a variable by the name of ray origin. And this will be basically the position of the ray. Okay, so as you know that we want to create a ray. On the player feeds so first of all we will say transform dot position and then as I told you we want to create that on the player feeds so we will add the ray offset with the transform position okay then let's create a ray so for creating it it we will type physics dot ray cast now this needs some parameters so the first parameter is the place or origin where we want to create this ray cast okay so that will be the ray origin then in which direction we want this ray to move so that will be the forward direction so we will say transform dot forward okay then we want to store the information of whatever that this ray hits so right here you can create a raycast hit by the name of hit info and inside this hit info we will store the information but in order to keep our code clean what we will do is we will cut that from here and actually paste it in here okay we will remove the semicolon and at the start we will simply type out take a hit hit info okay and whatever then this ray cast hit it will be stored inside this hit info okay then we want to limit this ray cast so we will add the ray length because we don't want the length of this ray to be unlimited okay we want to limit it by the ray length and then what we want we want this ray to only detect whatever objects that are on the obstacle layer that's it so now whatever this ray cast hit which is on the obstacle layer okay if we detect that obstacle then what we want we want this bool which will be by the name of hit found to be true so we will say pool hit info equals to all of this code then what we want is we want to create a line in order to visualize this raycast because we will not be able to see this raycast okay so in order to visualize that we will say debug dot draw ray we want to draw a ray from the ray origin okay and then in the forward direction so we will use this transform dot forward right here and then we will multiply that by the ray length okay and then we created this pool head found so whenever we hit something that is on the obstacle layer this will be equals to true okay so we will say that if okay this means if this hit found is true then what we will do we will color this ray 
as red so we will say color dot red okay actually uh, this is else this question mark considered as if okay so if this hit found is true then the color will be red else the raycast color will be green okay simple as that so i hope you understand what this code means okay we are just simply creating a ray from the player feeds for which we uh, set up this ray origin and in the forward direction and then whatever that ray hits will be stored inside this hit info we limit that ray by the ray length and then we only want to detect whatever that is on the obstacle layer and then right here we visualize that ray okay now we will not be calling this function on this environment checker for this right here in the parkour script we will create a c-sharp script by the name of parkour controller make sure that you name this correctly okay parkour controller script okay let's open this script and on this script what we will do is we will create a reference to our environment checker script so you will say public environment checker let's name this as environment checker but make sure that the e is small okay then right down below we will create an update method let me actually remove this code okay and then inside the update method what we will do we will say environment checker dot we want to call the check obstacle method right here and that is simply it okay and uh, check obstacle check obstacle that's it save the script get back to unity right here click on player as you can see here is the one environment checker let's drag and drop the parkour controller script as well right here and in the parkour controller script drag and drop the environment checker and on the obstacle layer make sure that you provide the obstacle layer okay and on the objects right here make sure that you also apply the obstacle layer and a collider as well okay now let's play the game and you will not see the raycast this is because on the game window we didn't run on the gizmos so click on this gizmos and now as you can see there is this green color ray which is is showing above the player feeds let me show you on the scene right here if we turn on the gizmos as well as you can see above the player feeds we are creating a ray cast for now it is green because the ray cast didn't deduct any obstacle since we type it in our code right here as you can see when nothing is detected it will be green but if some hit is found then its color will be red okay so now let's go ahead in front of any obstacle and you can now notice the ray cast is now in red color because it's it it is detected this obstacle okay and if we check this one as you can see it is red if we get right here as you can see it is in red color now okay so what this means is we are checking for obstacles in our environment and now guys before ending this video let me tell you one thing more that for example if we start walking there is a little bit delay okay the idle animation stay active for a few seconds as you can see okay there is a little bit drag and when we stop the player there the player is also stopping a little bit slow as you can see when we start walking the player doesn't walk instantly as you can see okay so in order to fix this we will select our idle animation okay this is the idle animation so what we will do we will click on animator actually and then if we see everything is set up right here but there is a problem with our idle animation so if we click on animations now 
right here we want the length of this idle animation to be a little bit shorter so let's move it to this position okay the start will be 0 the end will be 30 then simply click apply and now if we play the game now if we start walking as you can see now the player walks instantly as you can see okay so I think it looks good now as you can see the players start walking inst instantly as you can see so in this way you can overcome that problem and now with this done let's end this video right here